All right, so this video is about factoring quadratic trinomials when a is not equal to 1. We talked about how to factor when a is 1. In this case, you have a number that's in front of p squared or x squared that isn't 1. So where we begin is we take the number in front of x squared, we multiply it to the constant at the back. We get p squared, subtract 2p, subtract 15. Now it looks more like polynomials. We have that factor. So we begin with two sets of parentheses. Because that's p squared, we're going to start with p and p. And then we have unlike signs, so that says subtraction. So I know that one sign is going to be positive and one sign is going to be negative. So at this point, we just got to figure out what numbers multiply together to be 15 <clears throat> and can add together to be 2. Or better yet, multiply it to be negative 15, add to be negative 2. So the factors of 15 are 1 and 15, and 2 and, but well, 2 can't go into 15, 3 and 5. Those are the only factors of 15. 3 and 5 is the pair that can give you 2 if you subtract them. So this tells you my biggest sign is negative. So I know the 5 goes in this set, and the 3 has to go in this set. So because we begin by multiplying by 3, to make it something we could factor. Whatever that number was, that was a, we come back and divide by it. In this case, it's the number three. We divide both numbers by it. If you can reduce the fraction, we have to reduce it. So three over three reduces to be one. So the first factor is p plus one. Five over three does not reduce. So this three comes bottoms up. It comes up in front of the p. Comes three p, the subtraction sign comes down, and the five comes down. And now we factored that polynomial to be this. And that's how it works. I'll give you another one just like it. Now here's a new one. Right, this is a nine at the back end. So because that's a nine, I'm gonna take the, take the two and multiply with the nine. And I'll get n squared plus three n to track 18. Always gonna be two binomials. So I got the parentheses there. That's going to be n and then n. That also means unlike signs. So one sign is going to be plus and one sign is going to be subtract again. And now we're looking for what multiplies to be 18, but adds to be 3. So we got 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. Then goes on the factor of 18. The one that can compare, somehow compare, um, the one that can compare, the one that can subtract to be 3 is this pair. So the largest one is positive because that's a plus sign. So I put the 6 here, the 3 here. And I got to remember because I multiplied by 2, I got to divide them both by 2. So this means n plus 3. And because this doesn't reduce, the 2 comes up in front of n. It'll be 2n subtract 3. And that's it. You factor it again. Now, I need to mention this, too. Some times, you're going to factor a polynomial, and you're going to come up with things like this. N over, and it's going to be like 2 over 10. And then you might have something like n plus 4 over 10. In these cases, they don't reduce. Well, well they do reduce. You have to reduce them first. So I'm going to call this n and then 1 over 5. That's where it reduces to be. These are both divisible by 2. 4 over 10 reduces to be n plus 2 over 5. But there's still fractions even after reduce them. So that means they both go bottoms up. It becomes 5n plus 1 and 5n plus 2. So whenever you get to this step where you have to divide by the a value, you should always see if you can reduce the fractions, or else you're not going to have the correct answer. So you have to reduce those fractions. That's all I have. Good luck.